This short video is intended to show the major features and functions of the Olinda 2 software code for internal dosimetry. It's not intended to be a tutorial, just a demonstration of the major things that the code can and cannot do. Before I start, I'll run through a very brief demonstration of the Olinda 1.1 software, which some of you may be familiar with, just to show that the flow of data input is the same. The three major things you have to choose to get dose estimates are a nuclide models and kinetic data. So in the nuclide tab in Olinda 1, I've chosen carbon 11. You can choose one or more models that you want to calculate doses to. And then you have to typically manually enter kinetic data. These are the time integrals of activity in organs that had significant uptake uh, of the agent that you're studying. Once you have these three pieces of data entered, you can then go back to the main menu, click the doses button, get tables of dose estimates, effective doses, your input data, and other information. You can also just get big tables of dose factors if you wish to do some calculations outside of the code uh, for teaching purposes or whatever. So this is the Olinda 2 uh, interface. Looks a little different, but it's the same basic information. You need to choose a radionuclide. I've chosen I-131. You need to select a model or models that you want to calculate doses to. You can choose more than one. You see now we have the ICRP-89 based realistic standardized phantoms uh, that the radar group uh, developed some years ago. We also have, for comparison, we call them legacy phantoms, the old Oak Ridge phantoms that were in version 1 and 1.1 for doing comparisons. We'll just choose one model. Note here we also now have three uh, mouse and five rat models that you can calculate dose to the animal organs themselves if that's of interest to you. Then again, you have to enter kinetic data. There are a number of ways of doing this. You can fit your own data to a three uh, component exponential model. And I'll put in some very simple data here just to show how this works. These are the times and the percent activities in individual time points that you noted in an organ of interest, let's say adrenals. There are six possible parameters here. If you have three exponentials, each has two parameters, the coefficient and the lambda for uh, elimination of the radioactivity. Let's just choose one. You have to give it an initial guess to any parameter that you wish to fit. These don't have to be particularly good guesses because the code will fit usually very quickly uh, and, and successfully uh, the exponentials to your data. When you're done, it always asks you if you want to save this case. You don't have to save it and we won't here. But then it assigns the activity that we just fit to the organ that we selected. There are some special models that you can use. The dynamic bladder model, let's say that half of this activity is leaving the body with a 10 hour biologic half time and a bladder voiding interval of three hours. And the other half goes through the intestinal pathway starting at the small intestine. And you apply that and the code populates the bladder and intestinal regions with the uh, time, interval, time integrals that it calculated. Then you can manually enter your own time integrals for other organs. And when that is done, you return to the main menu. And again, you can get tables of doses to individual organs, as in Olinda 1.1. It's using the ICRP-103 effective dose weighting coefficients. You can also show the older effective doses. You can change units from milligray per megabecquerel to rem per millicuri and get a number of other pieces of information from the code as well. As with Olinda 1.1, if you wish, you can just get big tables of dose factors and do calculations outside of the code. But the main function of both uh, these versions of Olinda is to give organ level doses to average doses to whole organs uh, for the purposes of evaluating dosimetry of new radiopharmaceuticals, teaching purposes, or other applications.